so over here we have this Ikea shelf. This is a Kalax shelf. It is a four cube thing. Um, I picked it up secondhand for $20. We purchased the bin separately um, at Ikea. So those are brand new. And in this one, I just have some um, crafting supplies in here for the kiddos. Some cardboard and different um, punches and doodads and things like that for them to use. This bin has books for my son. So these are a lot of counting and color books. Um, books that are good for a toddler to use. This bin has a lot of Lego in it and some other random toys. Um, the kids had a lot of Legos and they were kind of getting strewn all over the house so I decided to keep them in the classroom so that they would be in one central place and they wouldn't end up all over the house. And then lastly this bin holds all of our Berenstein Bear books. So this bin is our library books bin. I got these bins from the Dollar Tree and I just used my Cricut and I added some vinyl letters to the buckets. Now, admittedly, the buckets are not the best for library books. Um, they don't all fit in very well um, because the bin is smaller on the bottom and larger in the top and a lot of books are this size. Um, they just don't fit all that great. So I do have a blanket here in the bottom that they can use um, to, you know, cuddle up with or whatever, but it sort of just... Um, raises the books up enough so that they sit in the bucket. I don't know if we'll keep this system, but for now it works okay. So we are actually um, doing a picture book theme on community this month, and these are a lot of different books that I got from the library all about, um, you know, being a citizen in your community, the community of the world, um, different workers and things like that in communities. So I have put the Kalak shelf here along the wall to provide a little reading corner for the kids. My hope is to actually get like a little rug to put in here to make it a lot more comfortable, but for now this is working okay. We've got a comfy pillow and another bin from the Dollar Tree and inside is a blanket and another pillow. This bin right here says Book Buddies, and inside we've got some se um, some Sensi Buddies that they can use to read to. And then these are a lot of um, books that Aubrey had. Um, her great-grandparents were actually both teachers, and they set give her a lot of books, so these are really great reader books. Um, and so oftentimes I will give her the assignment of actually just reading to her brother, so she'll come over and she'll have to read one or two of these books to him. So this shelf came from Ikea, and I think it was $50 Canadian. Um, what I've done is I have placed these different bins on each of the shelves to hold books. When we started homeschooling, our library was giving away books, and I picked up 80 different books that we could use in our homeschool. And I ended up dividing them up into different categories, and those are the books that you see on the shelves. So in this bin is animals, and this bin came from the Dollar Tree, and again, I used my Cricut, and I labeled the bin. And I've tried to keep things sort of in order um, as far as the different books. We've got, you know, all kinds of different ones about bugs and whales and um, birds and, <laughs> I mean, just everything. And a lot of these books will coincide with our lessons, so it gives kind of a different dimension to just the textbook that we're going through. I got these large dice from the from Dollarama here in Canada, and we do use these when we are playing math games. Um, sometimes we'll just roll the different dice and she'll have to add the facts together or the two numbers together or subtract them, that kind of thing. And then up here is another bin and more animal books. Um, this bin came from Walmart. This is like one of my favorite colors. I absolutely love it. So I grabbed several of these bins when we were in the state shopping. And then this was a little thing from Target. This is a Rubbermaid container. I have four of them that you'll see here in the classroom. And some of them just are empty at this point and other ones hold different little doodad supplies that we have for homeschooling. And on top is just this little Melissa and Doug toy that I had gotten for Colt when he was a baby, and I love, um, I love it. I, it's so cute and fun. So we just have that in here. He obviously doesn't use it because he's a baby, or he's not a baby, um, but it's fun just as a little decoration. This is our next shelf, and this book, this box has um, people.
And then this print is from Emily Lay. I bought it several years ago. Um, I don't believe she carries this any longer, but it hung in Aubrey's room when she was a baby, and I felt it was really appropriate to bring here into the classroom. So on top is our science shelf. We've got our science bucket with all kinds of different science-related books. We've got our Ticonderoga pencils here. If we need extras, they are right there. And our microscope. This is one of the first things that I bought for our homeschool. It was um, secondhand, and uh, it works really great. I actually keep up above um, the box that the... Um, that the microscope comes in in this blue one and it has like different lens pieces as well so that stays up there and then we have our router and just some extra storage okay so this is what the room looks like over here we have this really large dresser from Ikea initially this was in our bedroom this whole room actually used to be our master bedroom but we moved it to another part of the house because this room would be perfect for homeschooling and this dresser actually no longer fits in that room. And all of the bedrooms in the house are very small, so it just made the most sense to keep it here in the classroom, and we have used it for storage. And I will go ahead and share with you everything that's in the drawers. But first, let me talk to you about what is all around the dresser. So we have this HP NV um, printer, which is absolutely wonderful. The best thing ever that I have found as a homeschooling mom is having an HP printer and using the HP Instant Ink program. You can print up to 300 pages a month for only $10 and you never ever run out of ink. The ink like is automatically shipped to you for free. Your printer communicates with the HP headquarters or whatever um, and they can tell when your ink levels are running low and you ne like never ever do you have ink that runs out. It is everything is beautiful. I even print our pictures this way. It's amazing. So this is my favorite thing in here pretty much. <laughs> um, I have a basket on top for paper. And now this is my paper. The kiddos have paper that they can draw on, but they know to stay away from this paper because that's mama's. <laughs> um, we have this bulletin board right here. Technically, I need to mount it on the wall. Um, we just have never done that yet. I'm probably just going to use command hooks, I think. And I decorated it. I'm not super happy with how it came out, but it is what it is. Um, the borders came from, the alphabet border came from Target, and the purple border came from the Dollar Tree. And then I went ahead and these little clips um, came from Target as well, and I hot glued them onto a, a tack, and then we're able to just hang our work on there. And then we have um, a large bulletin board with our verse on it. Now, the only downside of this dresser being here is that it is a little difficult to actually write on the board for me because I'm short, um, but it's still totally doable. And who knows if this dresser will stay here. So, But for now, it really works well. Um, we've got some markers, and then these are my pens and pencils here. We got a little container of all sorts of really fun erasers. So all of these came from the dollar store. Um, lots of Ticonderoga and these little ones that look like paint tubes. I think they're so cute. So if we ever need erasers, they're in here. And clearly somebody took all of the caps off the little paint tube things. Oh, kids, right? And then I have this print. This is a print from Erin Condren, and I think it works really great in our homeschool. I bought these book bins this year at Michael's, and I had originally wanted them to go on the shelves, but they are too, they're too wide or too deep to go on the shelves. So for now, I've just got them here. I initially had them kind of laid out, but it took up a lot of space here on the dresser, and we weren't actually using them um, because I had initially planned for them for something else. But I decided to keep them because I got the colors that I wanted, and systems and things change, and we may use them at another point. So in here, um, I've got a binder for Aubrey, and she's got some work in here um, that I'm not going to open up and show because it's probably not very wise, but I got a um, free 
download from Teachers Pay Teachers for different um, covers, and this was the one that looked most like Aubrey. She's missing teeth. She always had her hair over in a bow like that. I added her name, and that is her binder. And inside is a folder that she um, stores different work and stuff. And then this is my son's folder. Now he is just three, um, just turned four, I should say. So he's not doing too much with us, but he does have a binder when it comes time to start formal school with him. And then in here are just some folders and random papers that they can use to draw on. And that's what Colt usually likes to do when we're doing school, is that he'll sit at the table and he will draw pictures. So in this drawer right here, I haven't even organized this at all, um, we've got all of the um, things for our calendar, the dates, the months, and the weather. They're just all right here. And then this little bin has all of our numbers for the calendar and I did go ahead and laminate these. Now I would like to actually get um, velcro dots to put on these and use them on the calendar that way but for now we're just using tape because I don't have velcro dots. And then this little bucket here just has some hand cream and tissues and some things that I would need like hair ties and um, sticky notes and then this bin has all of our dry erase markers and then just some different um, CDs that we can listen to. This bin has a lot of my crafting supplies, all my paints and sandpaper and different little doodad things um, for crafting. This bin is sort of just empty. And this one has our CD player. This one had, it had a cord with it. We've lost the cord. I've tried using batteries and it sucks with the batteries a little too much. I've got a few Walton DVDs in here that need to be put away because I like to watch the Waltons in the evening when I'm getting things ready in the classroom. So this drawer holds all of our extra paper. I've got lots of scrapbook paper under here. And then um, this is the paper that the kiddos can use. It's 11 by 14 or 8 by 14. I don't know. Um... My father-in-law gave that to them, so they use that for drawing. And then we've got lots more paper here and notebooks and binders and things. So down below, this is where I've got a lot of um, vinyl for my Cricut. I've got my mats. There's all kinds of vinyl here and under here. <laughs> it's a little disorganized at the moment. And my camera box. Um, so that's what's in this drawer. This drawer is all of my Scentsy. And I used to sell Scentsy for several years, so I've got a bit of a hoard, not nearly what I used to have, but that drawer is my Scentsy drawer. And then this bottom drawer is where I store all of our gift bags and bows and tissue paper and things of that nature. Okay, so I'll share with you what's over on this side of the room. So first we've got Aubrey's work boxes. I'll go into those in a different video. Um, on top, right here are our Matthew C. blocks. And then we've got two trays. These came from the Target dollar spot. Um, if we need them for a project or just to contain something, we've got them. We don't use them often, but we have them. So this ca cash register came from Learning Resources. And in Canada, this actually retails for around $80, and my mother-in-law bought it at a thrift store, totally working, for $4.99. It had the money, it had the credit cards, it had everything with it. It's a really great tool, so we're just borrowing that for her, from her as we're learning about money. And then, so up above, I've got this metal storage bin, and that's holding some supplies that we need for geography. And then I've got a Scentsy warmer. And just some more storage. Um, this unicorn is a Scentsy buddy, as you can tell. We love our Scentsy. And we've got some books that we are reading this year and throughout, you know, the following years. So this little area, this is not koozies and clips. This actually used to be in my pantry. I just have never changed this label yet. But in here we have got all of our um, 
tiles for All About Reading and All About Spelling. Technically, these should be on a magnet board, but I don't have a magnet board, so I just divided them up into these little containers that I got from the Dollar Tree, and they're just in there. And they're easy enough to pull out, and each time that we need them, I have Aubrey um, alphabetize everything, and it just helps her better be able to do that sort of thing, so no biggie for us. And then this is our geography bin, and again, it's lined with books, or filled with books um, that we picked up for free from the library. And some more books. We're leading, reading Little House in the Big Woods right now, and I bought the whole collection on Amazon, but we're reading this one now, so it's just kind of sitting out. Then we've got a bin for holidays and just some more storage, a box for interests, and then this is actually a blow-up um, a blow up globe so it's like a, a beach ball type thing um, and we use that for a globe rather than a regular globe I had been looking for one for a really long time and everything was just expensive um, and this one actually works really well it has everything that we've ever needed to look up on it so it works good so this looks like a mess but this is our surge protector um, and we you know plug in whatever we need here so this container I absolutely love. It is from Michaels and it has photo cases in it. I store all of my cards for All About Reading and All About Spelling in here. I think if we do that program again I will actually purchase the boxes that were needed for those cards. Um, I had assumed that I would actually just have a box or buy a box or something like that um, and I never found one that really worked for that purpose so we're just using that um, this container this year so so this is our k -Lock system from Ikea this is one of the things that we purchased for our homeschool room we purchased the k and the two bookshelves and everything else are things that we had on hand so I'm gonna go through and just briefly um, Kind of explain what is in here but I think in another video I'll go in a lot more depth about what is in all of the drawers um, but I'll just give you a little overview so in the blue boxes on top that came from Ikea these are for our personal stuff we each have a bin and they hold like cards and memorabilia and different things like that so we each have a bin and then I've got bins for our different homeschool um, classes that we're doing one for extracurricular one for taught school, I've got one for crafts, and then one for all of my planning supplies. So I'll just show you kind of quickly what's in the science bin. Um, I've got books, uh, different books that we won't use this year, but they're different science books that I have. And then this is another book bin from Michaels, and again, more science books. And then I have a binder, and so I've got a binder in each of the bins for our different classes. And inside are folders and paperwork and different things that we would need for each class. These are my binders. Um, so that's kind of a rough overview of what each of the different cubes looks like, but I will probably go more in depth if you're interested in another video, because uh, <laughs> that's just going to make this way too long. So on top we've got more storage. I've got like lots of bins in here. Um, we just didn't need all of those bins, so there they are. And we've got another Scentsy Warmer. Sometimes we also have our diffuser in here too, and it would go right here. Um, I've got a map, and it fell down, so hopefully I'll get it put back up um, before I edit this video, but usually there's a United States map up here. I wish I had one that looked like it also from Canada, but unfortunately I haven't found a really cute Canadian one yet. Um, so over here, we've got another Scentsy Buddy, Scentsy Warmer, and then this is our little prize pack. It's got all kinds of... Um, doodads and whatnot. If Aubrey's well behaved and does well in her schoolwork, she's able to pick a prize from our prize bin. So over here I have got an area kind of more for me. It's got a lot of my supplies in it. Um, I've got lots of planning books and some more storage here. I got these boxes, the Reco Recollection brand from Michaels, and I got these for my birthday like 10 years ago. Um, so they actually fit really well next to the Kalax system. So, um, when I do, I'll do like a desk organization video and I'll share with you everything that's in those, um, but 
in this area is where I keep kind of my binders and things. Like this is my homeschool binder here. And I pull this out every day and it's got all my lessons plans in it. And then this is my homeschool planner, kind of my monthly planner. That's from Erin Condren. And I've just got these bins here with some planning supplies and DVDs. So this area is my desk area. It is a major work in progress. I've got a lot to do kind of at it um, to update <laughs> just the wall decor and some different things. But this is kind of my desk area. We just put up this shelf yesterday. Um, as you can see, the one print needs a frame and I've just kind of been working with it to kind of make it my own. But for now, this is just what it looks like. So on the back of the door, I have this hook hanging with um, different bags of mine, and then we have got our calendar system here on the back as well. This came from Target. Okay, so this is the shelf behind the door, and I have this shelf for, oh gosh, like 10 years. Um, I got it at Home Depot, and I've just styled it with, oh, just random things that I've had over the years. Um, I've got my Cricut down here, and right behind it, you can't really see it, but is my laminator. And then this bin is from 31. It's a file tote. I don't really have any hanging files right now. So just inside, I keep my laminating pouch, pouches, some extra folders, um, sleeves, like protective sleeves for inside binders. I've got bins here, and these hold like extra supplies. And then I use this bin sort of as an outgoing bin, anything that I need to mail or that needs to just go in another room or whatever. This is kind of, I just treat it as my outgoing bin. And then I have this frame. I love this thing. And that's it for this side of the room. So this is our table in the middle of the classroom. This is where we sit. Aubrey sits here. We have this caddy in the middle. This holds all of our art supplies. It's usually a little bit more organized than this, but we've been working. <laughs> um, I love these containers. These are little snack containers from the Dollar Tree, and we just put our crayons in them. They hold an entire 24 pack of crayons. And clearly, I need to organize this a little bit better. And then underneath, we just have some notebooks and things that Colt was using um, during our homeschool day.